How does time move so fast? Stop, slow down. Hey, time, too fast. So it's Friday and usually on Fridays we do Ask Limo videos, but the last Friday of every month we do a favorites video. I feel like this can't possibly be the last Friday of this month because it feels like we just did a favorites video, but it is. I checked the calendar like five times. I also can't believe that we're in June. Holy, we're about to be in July. What? We get it, time, you're fast, ooh. Stop bragging. So the last Friday of every month, I have been doing favorites videos. I hope you guys like them. I personally like watching other people's favorites videos because I get to see things that I didn't know existed. Also, I'm saving all the makeup for last, so that way guys, if you're watching the video, most of the stuff in the beginning is gonna be gender neutral for you. How about that? Because not only am I a female, but I'm also a person, and I share that in common with you. So here are all my favorites for the month of June. Let's do this. First favorite, this book. Yes, Please by Amy Poehler. I'm not quite finished yet. I'm like almost finished. Can you see where that is? So far, I really dig it. I'm a big fan of funny women. I think Amy Poehler is really funny. She's also very real in this book. I'd say 30% of this book sounds like a long thank you speech to all the different people in her life. That part can be kind of boring. But all the other stuff, you know, struggle and making it and following your passion and, and all the setbacks that you might have. All that stuff I enjoy reading about people that are currently successful. I think it's inspiring to see where they came from. Most of them came from very real, relatable places. I dug it, I'm digging it, I'm currently digging it. It's great. I give it 5 out of 5. Chris Pratt's in Jurassic World. Holla! Oh, by the way, Chris Pratt is in Parks and Rec with Amy Poehler. Wow. My brain picked a really appropriate thing. Next! This game! Splatoon! I mentioned this in a vlog, this is not sponsored. This is the most addicting game I've played since Candy Crush. When I close my eyes, all I see is paintballs everywhere. When I open my eyes, all I want is for this video to end so I can go play more Splatoon because I am super addicted to it. A lot of the battles are online and I think that you could play me if you're on it. I just don't know. I don't know how you find me. I know you can find your friends online. I have no idea how that works. You know how that works, type it in the comments. You might need my Nintendo ID. I don't know, I have no idea. I'm really stoked that I earned this like crazy gun that kills, that just dominates everybody. And I now I can't stop playing it because I just am like killing it every time. I sound like such a nerd. Totally lives up to the hype. Five out of five Chris Pratt. Or should I say Chris Prattoons? No, I really shouldn't say that. This video from Shia LaBeouf, I don't know how old it is. I didn't really look at the date. I just found it this month in June and it's, I can't stop laughing at it. I don't know if he meant it to be funny because his points are, you know, correct. You should just do it. But the way he does it is so hilarious. I can't stop watching it. If there was a favorite this month, this video is my freaking favorite. Five out of five Jurassic Prats. Next, I was randomly on iTunes and you know how they promote like new albums from different artists that just came out. I randomly clicked on Alan Stone's Radius album and I bought it and it's amazing and I love it. It's so soulful. It has the right mixture of like old Maroon 5 and some different bands. I'm not really selling this very well, but I, I love the album. Specifically the track American Privilege. I've been really digging that track this month. So yeah, five out of five Jurassic Prats. Orange is the New Black season three. Obviously, I've been obsessed. I only really had one free day to binge watch, and so I'm only on episode six. It's really good so far. I've heard mixed reviews about the ending of it. I would like to see it for myself, so I might avoid reading your comments if you're gonna make spoilers in there. I felt like it took a while in season one to kind of ramp up into getting to know all the characters, and um, it was kind of a slow start, but once you started to get to know the characters, then you started getting really involved and interested. And then season two was kind of cool because you knew all the characters, but I feel like that character V took over the whole season and I didn't like that. Season three so far has been like season one after it ramped up and you got invested in the characters. So I'm super into it. So far they're my favorites and I like them and I'm putting them in my favorites video. You can't do anything about it. I would have had Pratt City, Jurassic World, Depratz its world. Say something. Every month I've been kind of giving you like my favorite drink of the month. This month I was challenged by Burnett's Vodka to create some drink recipes for them for Instagram. I created a drink and I don't even know what to call it yet. Maybe you guys can help me out. But basically it's pink lemonade vodka, raspberry lemonade, muddled mint and raspberry, and I top it with Sprite. It was so good. Try it. Have it. Try it. Do it. I would drink one right now while playing Splatoon. 
10 out of 10, would bang again. Five out of five, Pratt City. Now for the makeup part. This palette, I know I just talked about it in yesterday's vlog, but I am obsessed with it. I love it so much. I'm ha I have it on my eyes right now. I just really like how natural it looks. It doesn't look like you have a ton of makeup on. And it came with colors that like I wouldn't necessarily have bought if I hadn't had somebody put them on me first. This orange color, for example, is really pretty and something I never would have thought to try on. And then I did and it matched this lipstick perfectly. Which, by the way, this lipstick is also part of my favorite. So five out of five, Chris Pratt's Jurassic World. And these two things became my favorites this month because they were used on me in I Love Makeup's channel and I fell in love with it. This is Max Lip Pencil in Fruit Cocktail. It's really pretty, like, orange color. It's very summer, okay. And this lip gloss, this is Bobbi Brown in, um, Angel Pink 10. I gotta tell you, I had never bought Bobbi Brown before and I had no idea how expensive it was. I didn't check the price first because I just figured I've never spent more than 20 bucks on lip gloss before. It was almost $30. So yes, it was one of my favorite colors this month and it will probably continue to be my favorite color for a while because I'm gonna use this shit because I paid for it. But unless you're used to spending that much on a lip gloss, I don't know if I would have bought it knowing that it was that expensive of a lip gloss. Definitely a favorite. It's a very expensive favorite, but it's definitely worth 5 out of 5 Chris Pratt's Jurassic World. Why did he not take his shirt off in that movie? I feel like that would have been a really choice move. You blew it. So, that's all my favorites for the month of June. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments and also give it a thumbs up. We do videos Monday through Friday, so subscribe if you have not already. I hope you have a Chris Pratt-tastic weekend. See you Monday! So, oh God, son! Hey! trying to drive here and also vlog two things that require eyeballs. Jiminy Christmas.